My name is uh, Dr. David Okeo, the Chief Executive Officer for Kenya Nutritionists and Dietitians Institute. My name is uh, Professor Edward Karuri. I work for KNDI in matters regarding uh, development of standards. My name is Mrs. Ruth Wamatuba Akelola. I work at Kenya Nutritionists and Dietitians Institute as a technical manager. My name is Oscar Kambona. Uh, I've been a member of the council for the Kenya Nutritionist and Dietitian Institute since its inception. Today we are here at uh, NYS Engineering School uh, ready to take students through a process. Uh, KNDI is um, an institute that is uh, regulating um, the practice and the profession of nutrition and uh, dietetics in Kenya. It is enacted by a law which is uh, Act of Parliament number 18 of 2007. Nutritionist is a silent eye that study your body and tell you the nutritional status, which somehow you may not know as a, a public who is not necessarily a nutritionist. We will tell you all the signs and symptoms. We will tell you the, the right path, the roadmap to restoring your health. And not only your health, your health and nutrition, which are two but almost a conjoined um, thing. So nutritionist is very much important because again, uh, nutritionist will tell you the content of the food that you are eating, whether it be energy, whether it be the nutrient, whether it be the quantity. And that will help us uh, prevent many of the non-communicable diseases that currently is taking up. And it's taking up because of the transitions that we're seeing in the productions uh, that are also affecting the nutrition. The diets, I mean, and the diet has been refined in a way that it's easy for you to access, but it's not really very much important to your body needs. So at the end of the day, you will not have it in a better way. So the nutritionist will give you the roadmap. Whether you are already having the non-communicable diseases, you are now able to manage. As a technical manager, there are various units that uh, I, I work with and I supervise. These are the quality assurance unit where all the activities of KNDI pass through this unit so that the officer in charge of this unit looks at the quality of services. Let's say if the members are coming to do registration, she has to go through all the documents and find out that the documents are actually correct and up to standard. And also, if licensing is going on, this quality assurance officer has to go through the documents and see that the documents of the member are actually up to date and the member can be licensed. Then we have the examination unit. The examination unit is actually what is bringing us here today. Those students that have been trained, whenever they go, if they are degree holders, they have to go through a one-year internship, which is uh, organized by KNDI as a regulator. We also give them professional examination. And uh, for the college level students, those who do uh, graduate with diplomas and certificates, we take them through a process or where they undertake uh, professional examination. And when they pass, we license them. So today's function is the third congregation ceremony for award of licenses for nutritionists and dietitians to practice in Kenya. Accreditation generally is about standards standards against which KNDI regulates the profession of nutrition and dietetics. The first thing that uh, happened with the accreditation was to develop a curriculum for all the students in this country that are following nutrition and dietetics. We serve three levels, that is certificate, diploma, and degree. And uh, when we do this, 
the institutions where these students attend must also be accredited. So it is our responsibility to ensure that uh, the institutions that are training are compliant. Accreditation sets standards and checklists for institutions that uh, do the training. And uh, this is important because the idea is all Kenyans should read from the same script. They should follow the same standards. The students should follow one curriculum. And so they should all, all talk about the same levels of standards. Uh, we are proud to say that uh, previously, previously, what happened was that uh, uh, everybody taught what they thought was nutrition and dietetics. Indeed, they call themselves nutritionists and dietitians at the end of their courses. But uh, today, Candy I defines who the nutritionist is, who the dietitian is. From where we sit as the council, we are really happy because it was not initially like that. Everybody was doing his or her own business, including the service provision and in the academy. The curricula was not harmonized. And right now, the over 63 accredited facilities are offering a standard curriculum. In na that's national. So what's now we are going to work on as a way forward also on that is since as a regular and continuous monitoring. Uh, we, say, we may say inspection, yes, but monitoring becomes the most harmonized and the best language so that our stakeholders are feeling us like they are part, of, part and parcel of the growth that we are really achieving together as a team. As the institute is growing, we want to assure Kenyans that uh, the profession of nutrition and dietetics and of course the professionals will now uh, take up their role seriously to ensure that the Kenyan population is protected and uh, this can only happen if they are given a balanced diet. And uh, what, when, for them to be assured of a balanced diet, we must have professionals who are well trained to pass that information to them.
Our guest of honor, Madam Professor Julia Ojambo, representing the chief guest. Drawing powers from the Nutritionist and Dietitians Act number 18 of 2007, sections 6A, B, G, and I, and on behalf of the Kenya Nutritionist and Dietitians Council, I declare this third congregation ceremony for licensing degree, diploma, and certificate graduates in nutrition and dietetics open. Asante, asante. And it's time now, an honor to welcome Wiki and Kenya. When a patient has cystic fibrosis, diabetes, hypertension, they have been in a stroke, in a car accident, together with the doctors, we work together to provide the best medical nutrition therapy. Sometimes, as a dietitian, I plan tube feeds. That is when I put a tube through the nose, into the throat, and into the stomach. And sometimes 
up to the intestines. And when the intestinal root cannot be used, then I have to feed them through the veins. And that is called parenteral nutrition. I do everything possible to make sure that my patients are well fed. I work with the doctors. I consult them. I talk to my patients about the problems that they face, the sore throats, the nausea, the vomiting. I am back on research. I get creative with my recipes. And I prepare for them diets that ensure their lives do not slip away. And I am a food science nutritionist. I work in the food industries ensuring that the food that is prepared and manufactured is well fortified. The unga, ya ugali, ya chapati has vitamin A, iodine. I ensure that. I ensure that proper marketing and labeling is done. I am a food scientist nutritionist. I work with a clinical dietitian. I help to prepare the infant formulas in the manufacturing industries, the therapeutic feeds, the supplementary feeds. I do that. And I, I am a community nutritionist. I work in the community with the, I work in the communities, teaching mothers how to feed their children for a better Kenya. I walk with them step by step and we journey through the milestones of life together with families from childhood to adolescence to adulthood up to old age. I befriend the daughters, the mothers, the friends and everybody in the community. I teach them about physical activity and how to garden in small spaces. Green defines the color of our food and our lifestyle because we want to kick out lifestyle diseases in Kenya. I'm a public health nutritionist. I work with the government advocating for policies that change people's lives. I fight against misleading advertisement. Novita, a balanced diet is a cookie. No. A balanced diet is more. It enters more of vitamins, carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, fiber, and even safe water. I am back on research to find sustainable solutions to food security. I love food simply because a good diet can change someone's life. And I believe without a good diet, even the best medicine will fail. Let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. <laughs> to go to the speeches section and to start us off there I would want to invite the appropriate person to be able to read to us the council statement, the KNDA council statement. The Kenya Nutritionist and Dietitian Institute was established by an act of parliament number 18, 2007, under CAP 253B. The, acts, the act provides for training, registration, and licensing of nutritionists and dietitians. It also provides for the regulation of the standard and the practice of the profession to ensure the effective participation in matters relating to nutrition and dietetics and for related purposes. KNDI has a governance structure which consists of the council and the technical committees, namely accreditation, registration, and disciplinary. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the functions 
of the council. First is to determine and set a framework for the professional practice of nutritionists and dietitians. Set and enforce standard of professional practice and ethics on nutrition and dietetics. Enforce a program of quality assurance for the nutrition and dietetics profession. Approve institutions for the purpose of training persons seeking registration under this act. Research into and provide public education on nutrition and dietetics. Maintain the competence of members by updating their knowledge through publications and the conduct and conduct of uh, continuing professional education. Provide training for nutritionists and dietitians. Design programs and methods for sensitization on suitable dietary and nutritional habits and perform such other functions as may be necessary for proper administration of the act. The council realizing that its core mandate was to train professionals in nutrition and dietetics whom Kenya had not seriously embraced in its human resource developments moved quickly to one, set a register for all person trained in nutrition and dietetics, approve 63 institutions of higher learning offering courses in nutrition and dietetics and in, after inspection of their, of their facilities and manpower. Approve the minimum core curricula to be used in the training of nutritionists and artisans. Prepare guidelines for internship for newly qualified persons to facilitate their registra uh, registration in line with the act. Develop a program for continuing professional uh, development, that is CPD, to ensure that members keep up to date with the new development in the field. Such CPD is tied to renewal of licenses. Develop draft communication policy document. Develop examination policy. Develop standard operating procedures for disciplinary actions. And lastly, institute a journal of nutrition and dietetics, ISSN 2415, as a platform for scientific writing and exchange in line with function number five. Today, this ceremony will award practice license to 1,400 and 31 qualified licensees who satisfied the licensing criteria set by KNDI Council. The Council would like to congratulate all 1,431 licensees and their parents on the good job accomplished. May God bless you. The accreditation committee draws her mandate from the KNDI Act Number 18 of 2007, Section 13, with the major function to prepare curriculum, guidelines, and syllabuses of instructions on training courses leading to accreditation, examination of persons seeking registration under the Act. To guide the process, KNDI has developed training standards guidelines and the examination policy document which provide the standard operations procedure for every step from the training at the training institutions and the setting of the examinations with the rules to be followed and the chargeable fees including, included in the communication. Accreditation is about standards in all spheres of KNDI operations at training, private practices and food trade 
production, which will be reflected in the quality of the product and services offered to clients, the Kenyan's population, Kenyan DI accreditation standard dovetail very well with the ISO standards and all other systems of standards. The accreditation generally has regard to the conduct of examinations and in particular shall 1. Prepare syllabuses of instruction and training courses for persons seeking registration under the Act. 2. Prepare and conduct examinations for persons seeking registration under the Act. 3. Charge the appropriate examination fees in consultation with the Council of the Institute. 4. Prepare regulations to be, to, to be made by the Institute regarding the standard of proficiency to be gained in each examination for a diploma, degree, or other award. 5. To carry out the indexing of students enrolled in various institutions and monitor 